Okay, I'm going to do special relativity here. Specifically, I'm going to bring about uh, Lorentz transformations with hyperbolic geometry. Uh, did this a couple of these with Newtonian mechanics earlier today, and I just saw that the video is very not clear, so I'll try to write bigger here. We'll start out with uh, some of the geometry. Uh, in in uh, complex numbers, cosine theta is equal to e to the i theta plus e to the negative i theta over 2. Hyperbolic is actually easier. Same thing without the i's. So cosh theta is equal to e to the theta plus e to the negative theta over 2. And then cinch is the same thing, just with a minus sign. This is actually kind of uh, the blending of uh, trigonometry and algebra. It's kind of a unification of the two, two forms of math, which is kind of cool. And so from this, we can get hyperbolic tangent is equal to cinch. I'll drop the thetas now, over cosh. That's, we'll call that V over C, and that's actually beta. And where that comes from is in the Lorentz transformations. Gamma is equal to, and this is a very important, this is really what the uh, Lorentz transformations are, how they vary from Gal Galilean uh, transformations. It's equal to <clears throat> 1 over the square root of 1 minus beta squared, where beta is v over c, like we just said. So that's 1 minus v over c squared. c is the speed of light, and v is velocity. OK. So what we can do from this is beta equals v over c equals tangent, hyperbolic. We'll call gamma equals 1. We know that tangent is beta, so it's going to be 1 over square root of 1 minus tangent hyperbolic squared. From what we showed, I think, on the last paper, you'll get this, cosh squared over cosh squared minus cinch squared. And I think I showed that that was important. Cosh squared minus cinch squared is 1, so we just have square root of cosh squared. The square root of cosh squared is just going to be cosh. So therefore, gamma is cosh. So now we want to find gamma times beta, which is gamma times v over c. Oops, gamma times v over c. So we know gamma is cosh, and we saw that v over c is tangent hyperbolic. And then, so these two equal cinch. So gamma beta, which is equal to cosh times tangent hyperbolic, is equal to cinch hyperbolic sine. So now real quick, oh, not a paper, using my kid's drawing pad. We'll start with the Lorentz transformations. One of the basic one with velocity is x, which is just position, is the uh, alternate reference position plus velocity times t prime. The prime just means kind of a, like a shift, a different view over the square root of 1 minus beta squared, and that's gamma. So it's really x equal to gamma x prime plus gamma beta t prime. Now I'll show the hyperbolic ones, and then you can see where, where that comes from, how that comes from this, and is actually easier. So this first one with the hyperbolic is this. It's just it's simple. It's just cosh plus cinch, where uh, where time is ct, and then t will then be x prime cinch plus ct prime cash. And so these are the special relativity transformations. And this will give you how you can't travel faster than the speed of light. Uh, say you were in a car. I ran out of paper, so I won't. I was going to show how that derives from 
this, but you can plug it in. X, X cache. We know that cache is gamma. And cinch, I think we call it cinch gamma beta. And we showed how that was derived. So it's X prime gamma beta plus CT cache gamma. And what this does is with T, you have the extra numbers. The extra uh, you'll have on, on the top, you're going to have T prime plus V X prime over C squared. And that's how you'll, you'll get that on, on the T here, where you won't get that on this one. The C and the, the, C and the C's are going to cancel out here. Here the C's will compound on each other. And that's it.